Hello, Nuin Asda from St. Austell is the Hicks. Um, founded in 1851 by Walter Hicks in St. Austell. So it's their traditional strong Cornish ale, bottle conditioned, 5% ABV. It says on the bottle, a legendary Cornish ale, Hicks is named after the brewery's founder, Walter Hicks. Full bodied, brimming with flavour, strong and distinctly Cornish. Bottle condition may contain yeast. Um, doesn't really say. Best before is 05, 2024. So you know, it's got a year's date on it. Um, just been released, like I say. So we'll crack it open. And uh, yeah, brand new beer for me. I've not had this in any form whatsoever. So it's, it's interesting nonetheless. Last time I had a St. Austell beer on, on cask was the Skinner's Brewery versus St. Austell over at Crown Inn in Beeston last year. And I poured the old lot in. And as you can see, crystal clear. So yeah, the old bottle may, may contain sediment. We're looking at a an amber, dark amber pour with three mils of, four mils of head on there, uh, just slightly off white head. Cheers all. Oh, lovely. Smells lovely. You know, malty, toffee caramel coming through. Oh. And for a Friday night, I'm ready. I'm really ready been a long week I'm absolutely shattered so it's nice to have a, a beer so cheers on Ooh. I like the, the the homage paid to the brewery founder you know history is something that shouldn't be forgot about good and bad history because bad history um, teaches the younger generation that the world was a different place back then and how we've changed rather than ripping you know stuff down and denouncing every last bit of history um, but good history like the brewery's founder you know it's, it's good to have a beer in his name and for the first time I've ever seen in Asda never seen this in any supermarket pub That is tasting sublime. I mean, recently St. Austell Brewery, they, as from what I've read anyway, they helped out um, Harbour Brewing Company. I don't know if it was through money or whatever, but uh, and uh, only just recently as well, in fact, in the last few days, they've done a collaboration brew with Oak Males. Um, it's all over Twitter and social media. Um, the good fella from Oak Males, the head brewer, went down to St. Austell to brew a beer, I'm sure it was a, a beer that had been done like many, many years ago. I can't remember the full logistics of it all. And uh, my phone, I've dropped my phone down the toilet tonight, so I can't even charge my phone at the moment. So that's really worrying. Um, plug the, uh, my wife's charger into my phone and it's not charging. So, uh, yeah, that's worrying. Um, that throws up massive issues for me because um, it's my phone I use for work, whereas this phone I use for, for, for video beer reviews. And uh, if I start using this phone for work, it's going to get mucky and it's going to get ruined. Uh, and I don't like using this phone. So there we go. So I'm hoping that I can charge it via other means if need be. We have got this plate. That you, that you put it you put the phone on and that's some that charges the phones as well so there may be a way uh our phones an absolute pain they're all right when they're working but when they go wrong oh dear
gotta say lovely multi strength to the beer um like i said definitely getting the the um coffee carrot toffee caramel sort of thing going off so easy drinking St. Austell, Makers of Tribute. I think this is a tribute beater. Um, proper job, big job. Um, and uh, God, now I'm trying to think of the beers they make. And I've had many over the years, certainly on cask last year. Um, I need to actually review them as well. Um, and uh, yeah. Reviewing that sort of thing at the moment. Um, but anyway, yes, got to be honest. That is tasting Ooh, very nice. Um, ooh, that's got, I've got to be honest, that's going down an absolute treat. And, uh, you know, it's lo always lovely to have a new beer. And uh, I prefer, got to be honest, prefer to do beer reviews in the beer room. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to kill off the pub reviews totally. Um, or just limit them down to a couple a week rather than uh, the flooding of the channel that's been happening. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. It's difficult at times. And, uh, yeah. It may be the fact that I just do a few a week or I actually don't put them out of shorts anymore and, and just do proper reviews, you know, two or three minute reviews rather than under one minute where I can't really talk too much under one minute. 